Hello our friends, in today's video we want to share with you our detailed night routine while camping and hiking. After being hiking for a year and a half, we finally seem to have established our own routine that we tend to stick to every day and you are about to see everything that we normally do in the order of appearance. And it was actually filmed while being on our Camino de Santiago, so it is very true to reality. Let's get into it! So when we arrive at our camping spot, the first thing we do is setting up our tent. If we are at the campground it's easy, because we already got a clean flat surface. But when we are in the woods, it takes quite some time to find good place for a camp. In the places with rocky or steep landscapes, we can lose up to an hour doing so, but it all comes with practice. So in 10-15 minutes our tent is all set up, and considering that is not freestanding one, it's not bad. The first time around it took us 40 minutes to set it up, now it's hard to believe in it. Also it depends on how easy or hard the ground is to put in the packs. I'm usually using the other pack to help me. We plug in our charging system, as we are often staying in the camping and it's very convenient to charge the batteries for all the electronics inside the tent. Then, especially if it was the hot day, we are heading straight to the showers already wearing our flip-flops and letting the feet to rest. Washing the face first, and we do it during the day as well, whenever we have access to the fresh water to clean and refresh in the face. If we are in the woods, we use the baby wipes or our water bottle to have an improvised shower under the sky. As we have more facilities available today, we are doing some washing up to refresh our clothes, and in summer we tend to do it every other day or so, just cause it's so hot and we want to avoid the feeling of being sticky. We use a little bit of the soap, but mostly water to wash. And we love when the campgrounds have their own liquid soap, so that we don't have to use up our own and even can add to it. When we are in the wild, we completely skip this part and just wash our pots, cutlery and any fresh fruits or vegetables we may have. If we can, we do wash everything in the villages, using the running water to save our supply for other needs. Then collecting some water for cooking right in a pot and we do enjoy access to the hot water, so we don't have to boil it that much. Then putting water to boil, adding some salt and whatever cereal we have with us. That day it was couscous, all we could find in the local supermarket. And waiting for it to cook. While the dinner is still cooking, I am brushing my hair and making a simple braid to have a comfortable sleep and applying my face cream to the clean face. Back to our meal, I am cutting some tomatoes and lettuce leaves for the salad. And then when the cereal is ready, I am adding spices for a better taste. We use the mix of curry, curcuma, oregano, some pepper and a bit of olive oil. Mixing it well and adding some cheese. We are big fans of cheese and like to accompany every meal with it, when we have it with us. Finally adding it all to the mix and we are ready to eat. After the main meal, we always like to have some fresh seasoned fruit or nuts. Today we have grapes. At that point we are getting ready for the sleep. So unrolling our mats first and inflating our sleeping pads. And pulling out our sleeping bags. And our little pillows, of course, that we found to be very important to have a good sleep. We always make sure to brush our teeth before going to bed. Now it's time to get inside. Always connecting our sleeping bags to have a little bit more space and warmth during the night. I've already put on my comfy leggings on and applying some hand cream to hydrate my skin. Just before falling asleep, I usually write down all the impressions of the day in my notes on the phone. I realize that it's very important doing every day, so that when we come home and share our trip report, it will be as close to reality as possible and has more life to it. And having so much going on day after day, we tend to forget lots of things. Then we are checking our trail for the next day, mostly because we are taking lots of alternatives and need to plan ahead, as well as marking the supermarkets and campgrounds on the way. Now it's finally time to go to sleep. Good night. 
Let us know if you have enjoyed this video leaving a comment below and don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this one. We are really interested to know what is your night hiking routine like and what you do differently. Hope you are having an amazing day and we'll see you again soon on our channel.